Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video, we will see how to create schedule trigger flow in Salesforce. So basically what is schedule trigger flow in Salesforce? The schedule trigger flow launches at a specific time for each record in that batch. So far, we have used the Apex batch job to fulfill this requirement, but now we can also use the flows. The schedule trigger means we can schedule a flow for a specific date and time so that on that specific instance the flow will trigger. Now we will see when can we use the schedule trigger flow in Salesforce. So basically when we want to perform any automated task and execute it in a specific frequency like once, daily or weekly. We will see this frequency while creating a flow. Then with schedule trigger flow we can avoid writing code in apex triggers in some conditions. We can also use schedule trigger flow for a simple automation and notification to work like sending an email or notification frequently at the same time. To better understanding, let's take an scenario. For example, the finance team wanted to automate a reminder emails to notify the customer before two days of the due date. And why this reminder email for? To submit the loan amount. That means we need to send a reminder email to the customer before the two days of due date. So due date is a custom field on a account object. While creating a flow, we will see briefly about this. So let's jump to the org. So we are on the home page. To navigate the flow, in a quick find box, search for a flows. Under the process automation, you can see flows, click on it. Here you will see recently created flows. We are going to create a new flow. For that, here you can see the new flow button, click on it. Now we are creating a schedule trigger flow. So here you can see, so click on a schedule trigger flow and here you can see create button, click on it. Now we need to set a schedule so that the flow will trigger the schedule date and time. So today is 31st of May. So I am entering today's date, 31st of May. And in the time, here you can see in a 15 minute of instance, the time has given. We need to select that time when the flow will start. So current time is 9.27. So I will enter a time of 10 a.m. Then you can see here frequency. The frequency means in the what time of instance the flow will trigger. Here you can see options once, daily and weekly. So in a once frequency, after the flow will trigger, after that this flow will not trigger. And in the daily frequency, this flow will trigger on a daily basis after the start date on a start time that you have given. And in a weekly, this flow will trigger in a weekly basis. That means if you provide a start date is 1, then after every 7 days this flow will trigger on a start time. So as per our scenario, we need to select the daily frequency because this flow should trigger every day to check the due date before 2 days. So I am going to select daily. After entering the details, you can simply click on a close button because this uh, change is automatically saved. Now very first, we need to create a formula to find the 2 days before the due date. Before that, I want to show you the custom field on account. For that, go to the app launcher, search for account. As I click on new button to create a new record, here you can see I have created due date custom field. So for example, let's say I am putting 10th of May of a due date of this particular customer. So the before two days means the 8th of May our flow should trigger and the reminder mail should send to the customer of particular EMI date. Now we need to create a formula for to find two days before a due date. For that here you can see toggle toolbox, click on it and click on a new resource. In a resource type, select a formula field and enter a API name. Here I am entering find due date. Then enter a description if you need. In a data type, select a date because we are creating a formula for a date field. Then we need to create a logic to find a due date. 
so we need to think in a way so let's understand this on org or on a record so our due date is 10th of may let's assume 10th is our due date so what can we do we can take system date and if we add two days in a system date then what will be the output let's understand today is 8th of may and if we add the two days in a eight days then the date will be the now let's create a formula so to take a current date we need to here you can see insert a resource click on it and to take a current date here you can see flow click on it and here you need to select current date click on it and then we need to simply add plus two so here you can see uh, select an operator you can select from here here you can see add option click on it or you can also use keyboard plus key then simply add two now what this formula return current date plus two then simply click on the done button now our formula is created now to fetch the due date from account object we need to get record of account so for that we have a get record option to add the get record click on add element scroll down and here you can see get record data click on it then add a label here i am entering fetch account records the api name will automatically populate then here we need to select that object on which object we want to fetch the record here i am selecting account object here you can see account click on it now we need to filter the accounts that means we need only those account which due date is equal to our created formula because our formula is also written the due date for that here you can see fields option in a fields you will see the account fields so here we need to select the due date here you can see custom field click on it equals operator and here we need to select the formula resource click on it so we have added the condition the due date equals to find a due date for example the due date is 10th and what this formula is written if today is 8 then in that current date the formula will add plus 2 and it will return 10 that means these both are equal now here how many record to store we need to select all records because we need to verify all records so that we can send a reminder email to those customers and then how to store records data automatically store all fields then you can simply click on a close button now we have all account records but what will happen if there is a case we have many customers which due date is after two days for that we need to add a loop so that all customers should get email for that we need to add loop element to add loop element click on add element search for a loop and click on it then enter the label here i am entering loop customer records the api name will automatically populate as you click on it then in a collection variable we need to provide the customer records so here in a get records we have fetched the customer records so in a collection variable we need to provide that get record element here you can see the collection variable click on it then simply click on a close button now we need to send an reminder email for that we are going to select action element search for action element click on it and then what we need to do we need to send an email so for that in action you can search send email here you can see send email click on it then add the label send reminder email api name will automatically populate then we need to create a body so what text we need to send to the customer to add the body here you can see you need to click it to include then as you click on this field you will see new resource we are going to create a new body 
To create a new body, click on new resource. In a resource type, select a text template. Then enter a name. Here I am entering a email body. Then here you can see view as a rich text. We need to change it to the view as a plain text. Click on it. Then enter a text so that the customer will verify what this email about. Then enter a text so that customer will understand why this email for. So here I am entering hello team. Here you can also provide the dynamic value like we have account named as a account of India and here for that particular customer it should display the his own account name. For that here you can see the resource speaker click on it and here you can see we have account records click on it and then simply click on a name field because in a name field we have a account name then I am entering a text this mail is regarding for your due date is we need to enter a dynamic value for that again go to the account records and then search for a due date here you can see due date click on it this is ok for us and then simply click on a done button now we have an email body when we have an email templates like classic email templates or lightning email templates that time we can add email templates then here we need to add the recipient address list here we need to add the customer emails so that the particular email should send to the that particular account customer for that click on it here you can see the account records click on it and here we have email field so that in the email, in that email field we can store that customer's email and this email will send to that customer then as you scroll down you will see a subject to add subject click on it here i am entering the hard code subject reminder email for a due date in a sender email address we don't do anything because it considers only the sender email address of the person or of the user who created the record now we have done all these things then simply click on a done button now quickly review our flow here we have added the start condition and when our flow should trigger then here we have fetched the account records then we have added the loop element so that the loop every time iterates and the email should be sent to the all customers which due date is before two days here we have added the action element so that in the action element we have created a send email body recipient addresses and the subject then we done all of this now we are ready to save the record click on it here i am entering reminder due date email the api name will automatically populate then simply click on save button after the saving record before the before activate it always debug the flow it's a good practice here i am entering the debug button and then click on a run now our flow is completed but here you can see the blue line flow started then in a get record it's fetch the account records then loop will execute but the action element that means the email is not sent to the anyone why this happen let's see here you can see failed the find records so before activate it we need to create an account so that to find the record we need to create an account to the due date before two days for that i am going to create a new record here you can see i am creating a new record account name is test the flow now i am entering my email so that i can show you the received email in a due date we need to provide two days after of current date so current date is 31st of may so the current date is 31st of may 
so here we need to select so here we need to provide second of june now we are ready to save click on save button now the account test the flow is created now again we need to debug it so i am clicking on debug again button then click on run so here now you can see the flow is started account is fetched the loop element executes and then email email is also sent to the customer now activate the flow i am clicking on activate button now our flow is activated now here you can see i got an email with a reminder email for a due date which i have provided a subject for that email as i open this if you remember i have provided a hello team message and then here i have provided the dynamic field that means i have entered the or i have selected the account name this is particular account name is displayed in the email and also same for a due date this is how we can create a schedule trigger flow in a salesforce if you like the video click the like button subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to get regular updates thank you